Italian fashion designer Daniela Giurini has turned her Art Deco apartment in Milan into a bright, welcoming home and a showcase for her passion, ceramics. Giurini completely restored the apartment, blowing out walls and opening up the space. The result, a romantic home that defies rules and tradition. Artwork from the 30s, 40s and 50s graced every room, including the entrance. The entrance is the start, the beginning. It's another room, another room to live in with books and objects. It's not just a passageway. You can read and spend time there. I think every room should be lived in and enjoyed. You have two important pieces of ceramic yeah. made of tile. Tell me about them. They are two important collector's pieces by an artist named Comfy that were done in the mid-50s. Throughout the apartment, white walls dominate, creating a backdrop for colorful artwork. One painting stands out in the living room. I believe this was painted by a renowned painter and ceramist, Galileo Cini, in the early to mid-20s. It represents the earth and the fruits of the earth. It is part of a pair. The other half represents Neptune and the sea. At the other end of the room, you have the fireplace and two pieces of ceramic that you're particularly fond of. One is a ceramic by Salvatore Melli. It represents a big sea elephant, and the other is a ceramic by Ferry. That represents a bull, and they are very tactile. I like to touch them a lot. In the dining room, Giurini has two or three tables, each covered in white linen. When the tables aren't used for eating, Giurini displays different objects like small crystal balls from Venice. Biedemar chairs from Paris are also precious to Giurini. Sono dodici. There are 12 chairs, and it's difficult to find many that are the same. The kitchen is the room Giurini likes best. It's not just a place to cook, but to eat and to live. Here also, Giurini displays her art collection. E questo è il mio posto preferito. I love the kitchen, and my first wish was to have a beautiful big kitchen to host friends. And this is my favorite place in the apartment. There are four paintings on copper by Dipoli from the 50s and they represent the four seasons. The vases are modern from the 70s. I like them a lot. They're wonderful colors. The bedroom is graced by paintings of women and paintings done by women. I really love the female form and all of its expressions. I like female nudes. The bathroom is very special to you. It's very important, the bathroom, because We changed everything. The bathroom is very important because it's the place where a person has to feel comfortable, to relax. Will you ever grow tired of collecting? No, non voglio smettere mai perché mi piace. No, I don't ever want to stop because it's my passion. I'm very curious and I want to discover new and interesting things. And it doesn't matter what style, I'm a collector and I love to keep looking. That's Daniela Giurini. Still ahead, the spring summer collection from New York's Anna Sui. Sui combines her passions, music and fashion for upbeat outfits that only she can do. See them when we continue. The sound of music has always inspired New York designer Anna Sui. She listens as she decides the direction of the collection. She tells me it always strikes a chord. The spring summer 2001, Sui turns to the beat of the drums in sub-Sahara Africa and to the twang of guitars in the new wave of the 80s. From Africa come her dusty, earthy colors. From the 80s, she takes her shape. The square shoulders, the short skirt. You know, we're coming out of the, the whole um, kind of very over-the-top lux and lady sort of look, but I think it's still around. Um, but I've kind of like twisted it a little this time with you know, all this talk about like this whole return to the 80s. Um, I've used a lot of those 80s sort of silhouettes and um, used some crisper fabrics, but then mixed in touches of the 40s too, because I think the 80s were kind of like a, a very like uh, exaggerated version of the 40s. You love to go back into the past and mix ideas from different decades? Well, I think that there's nothing new. And I think that 
fashion has always been an interpretation of things past, but always done in a new way. There's always different twists and different um, kind of uh, takes on what people were feeling nostalgic about. And I think it just, it, it kind of regurgitates and comes out in a different way. Lengths. What are you doing? Up and down, everywhere? Um, I'm playing with the lengths. Uh, a lot of it is below the knee still. And there's a few pieces that I think are, that are going shorter. I, um, I think that some of the, the crisper fabrics demand that the, sh the skirts be shorter. So the crisper fabrics are what? Um, I'm using some twills, some poplins, some denims, um, kind of a really beautiful dark indigo denim that's crisper than the more laundered looks that I've used in the past season. Dresses are still important. You know, I, I, I love dresses, and I think that it's the easiest way to dress. You just pop one garment on and you're, you're, you're dressed. Uh, most of my dresses are below the knee, um, but again, there's going to be a few that are creeping up again. Um, and I've been playing a lot with all these concepts, with adding in 40s, adding in 80s, adding in draping, um, and keeping kind of a ladylike silhouette. But when you play with the proportion a little, drop the waist, crop the sleeve, it, it looks fresh, it looks new. That's Anna Sweet with her Spring Summer 2001 collection. That's style for this week. Next week I'll be back with more exciting fashion. Paris. See how Jean-Paul Gaultier deconstructs biker chic to create separates with his own point of view. It's like all the antiques that you like, you always love. That's part of your family, part of what you are dreaming about, nostalgia of something, you know. You use it as an accessory. That's the thing I wanted to show. In New York, the pretty, flirty and feminine details that define Marc Jacobs' spring fashion statement. I'm feeling very happy these days, and so I guess the mood really is quite feminine with a certain frivolity and slight eccentricity. And in Milan, how Gucci's Tom Ford places renewed interest in womanly curves. This girl is, you know, very strong, very tough. She can take care of herself. She's very curvy. So she's a new, modern version of that at Maryland for 2001. Until then, thank you for joining me with Style. I'm Elsa Clench. Thank you.